Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here. Um, today's video is going to be a video on how I potty trained my toddler as you've seen from the title. I've been asked um, quite a number of times from my Instagram DMs on how to go about potty training your toddler. So today's video is just going to be about the things I did to um, get my toddler ready for not wearing any diapers. <laughs> She's currently... Um, she's going to be 28 months old this month so I started potty training her when she was 22 months old in November and I think from like 24 months of age she she hasn't been wearing a nappy at night time as well so just stay tuned and don't forget to like this video leave me a comment um, let me know how your potty training journey went or how it's going if you are currently potty training and share this video with someone who might find it useful also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't keep coming here and watching my videos but you haven't subscribed subscribe if you haven't subscribed already okay so we've got a guest here because she woke up just as i was about to record this video um her sister is taking a nap so before you actually i'm going to be looking on my phone because that's where my notes are so before you um you actually go into potty training you you need to make sure that your toddler is ready because if your child isn't ready you are just setting yourself self up for failure and you are just setting yourself up for for frustration because um yeah it won't go right the potty training won't go well if your child isn't ready so here are um, a couple of things to, 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 to show you that your child is actually ready for potty training. Um, okay, the first one, your child shows interest in um, wanting to use the potty or, or wanting to be independent. Um, okay, and then the second one, your child can understand and verbalize um, words around using the potty. Your child knows when their nappy is, needs to be changed. Your child knows when they need to use the toilet or the bathroom and um the th okay i'm reading these things from google so you can also google how to see if your child is ready for for potty training so the third one is your child can make the connection between having the urge to pee or poop and going to use the potty and then the fourth one your child can follow simple instructions your child needs to be able to uh, to follow simple instructions in order for you to instruct them and for for your child to do what you are instructing them to do i think this is pretty simple and the fifth one your child um, can keep his diaper dry for at least two hours i think this is very important basically there's a your child has a routine um, of how they use the bathroom and they can keep their diaper dry for at least two hours and then the sixth one your child can get on the potty and stay on the potty long enough that's if you are using a, a step potty um, but the potties that you put on the floor obviously i think your toddler should be able to get on that and the last one is that your child can pull down his own diapers training pants or underwear so that's how you see if your child is ready That's how you see if your child is ready to be um, potty trained. Don't start potty training your child um, before they are ready. And potty training, there's no connection between age and readiness um, to be potty trained. Your child can be ready from three years old or four years old, while another child like mine, I think also was ready by 19 months. But I only started really potty training her and being like consistent about it from 22 months. So it really doesn't have to do anything about it. It's got no correlation with the age. It, um, yeah, you, you only need to start potty training once your child is, is ready. Okay, so um, the reason why I didn't start when she was 19 months old is because it was still in winter. So I didn't want to be potty training in winter. So I waited for... For November which was in summer and that's when I started um, potty training so the first point is that your child which is the the most important one actually your child needs to be ready and then um, the second thing you need to take uh, 
your baby with you when you go to the bathroom okay you don't even need to take them because they always come with us to the bathroom so they see you use the the the, the toilet and they get um um what is the word that i'm looking for they they understand that oh okay this is what mommy is doing right now and then um the third one is once your your okay once your baby is ready or even before your baby is ready take them with you to 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 the to your trips to the toilet right and then wait for your baby to be ready and once your baby is ready you need to be committed to taking her to the party you need to 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 be committed hi sweetie <laughs> okay once your child is ready you need to be committed to taking her to the party and then the fourth thing is you need to encourage your baby to use the potty um you need to but that oh, remember guys your child needs to be ready at this point right so you need to encourage her to use the potty and then the next thing is once your baby does actually use the potty you need to praise her um either well however you want to go about praising your child you need to praise her and then um you can also get her panties or like proper underwear so that they can make the distinguish so that they can make so that they can see the difference between a nappy and a baby and then also um once your daytime uh party training is going well and you are happy with it then you can start with the night time and at night um you need to stop drinking about two hours before you go to bed you don't give your, your child any liquids to drink and before your child goes to bed make sure they pee um and what we do we we take it to pee before she sleeps and we take it to pee again before we sleep so and then um we take her to pee again in the morning when either me or my husband wakes up that's even before she 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 wakes up but we just take her to pee and then also be very patient guys potty training is not an easy thing so you need to be very very patient with your child and praise your child and yeah just show them love hi sweetie just show them love be patient with them and yeah you, hopefully they'll get it right so hmm? so basically um yeah we started potty training also in um november but hi sissy okay yeah good day okay good low fun we we started potty training her in november but she didn't actually like the bye my sweetie i love you we started potty training oh baby loves you too we started potty training her in november but she didn't like the ordinary um parties that or the ordinary party that we were using for her so i decided to get her a fancy one which is a step party so she could be able to use the toilet she she showed interest in wanting to use the toilet but she didn't really like the the party her party so i bought her a, a step party and that went really well she i think within a week we were we were able to take her for like we were able to take her to the mall in her panties and yeah she she would be fine um for like an hour or two hours at the oh at the mall so um what's wrong Oh, and then what happened oh but she never used to want to do her number two in the in the toilet so she would cry for a nappy she would she would always cry for a nappy when she needed to do her number two and um yeah she and she knew where her nappies were so she would go there and like try and put her nappy on or her, her pants so we had to be consistent and um we had to hide the nappies so that she wouldn't be able to get the nappies and what she would do is because she didn't want to do her number two in the toilet i think it used to scare her 
she would rather go hide and do her number two on her panties which i think was fine um because yeah she it got her to be comfortable with not doing it in her nappy and um what then i what i then did is when i would see that she wants to do a number two i would take her panties off so she wouldn't have a panty to do it on and i would like encourage her to sit on on the on the on the step potty and that's how we we got to um fully potty train her like i said guys it takes patience and you need to be very consistent as a parent um or whoever will be potty training your child needs to be very consistent and yeah and very patient and praise your child and yeah praise them <laughs> well my child likes to be praised so i yeah you need to give the praises and yeah i think that's it guys from this video thanks guys for watching don't forget to leave me a comment don't forget to like this video share it with someone who hasn't i mean who would find it useful and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already bye 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 guys. Hello. 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 Hello.